Why did I join the military? I was drafted in, in 1956, uh, so I really had no choice, but uh, I was honored that I could go and, and do my part for my country. My proudest moment was um, every time that I would get a, a raise in rank and my commanding officer uh, wanted me to follow him where he went, he thought I was doing such a good job, so that I was pretty proud of that. Did I get any medals? Yeah. I got the good conduct and uh, rifleman. I the, I was out on a, a rifle company that uh, went from company to company and, and uh, shot against other people, and I ranked pretty high in my firing. What was the reception like when I returned? Well. It was, everybody was waiting for me to come home, and that made me feel pretty good, which when you're away from your family for almost two years, it's pretty nice to get back home. Hi, my name is Stephen Recker. I was a sergeant in the U.S. Army. How did I join the military? I went to a recruiter and I enlisted. Where was I stationed in the seven years I was in the Army? It was I started out at uh, Fort Leonard Wood. I went to Fort Carson, Colorado, and then I went to Germany and I went back to Fort Carson, Colorado. All my friends that I did have are passed away already. I'm Randy Geyer. I was a specialist fourth class in the U.S. Army, and I was in the service 1968-1969. And where did I serve? Well, I served stateside in 60, 1968. I was over in Vietnam in 1969. My job description was a tank operator. I drove the M60, M48 tanks, so it was an MOS 462. I ate as much as I could in the Army, but um, once you got over in Nam, you got sea rations, and they were not the best, especially the lima beans and ham did not taste very good. You would trade them for anything, can of peaches, anything, because not good. Where did I sleep? Well, sometimes we slept in the turret of the tank. There's only four crew members on the tank. Otherwise, outside, alongside the tank, uh, with a poncho. Uh, once in a while, maybe once a month, we got back to uh, um, base camp where we were sleeping in regular sleeping quarters, Quonset huts, about 25, 30 guys to a hut. Did I ever get homesick? I got homesick a lot because I was newly married, and I was 20 years old when I got drafted and 22 when I left the service. So, yes, I did get homesick. You thought about home a lot. Do I have any children that joined the military? Yes, I do. My oldest granddaughter joined the Army in uh, 2018 when she graduated from Slinger High School. And my second granddaughter joined the U.S. Air Force in 2019, and she's currently serving three years in Japan. My name is Merle Pamperin. I left the military as an E-4, Petty Officer Third Class, in the Navy. I spent two years on active duty, six years active reserve, and another eight years inactive reserve. So a total of 14 years. Where did I serve? I, I went to Great Lakes Boot Camp, and then I went to San Diego, California to supply school. Uh, in between there, I spent a couple weeks on a USS Hughes. It's a destroyer escort on a cruise. And then I went, uh, I went to Newport, Rhode Island for almost two years. I was a little older because I had, I had at least three farm deferments because I was the oldest and the only son on the farm. And my dad had rheumatism and sciatic nerve problems. But then when my brother-in-law lost his job, that gave me the perfect opportunity to, to get out of there because I hated milking cows. So I traded, traded jobs and I went into the military. I said, I, I never had a problem in my life getting a job, and he couldn't get one anywhere. If you're debating going into the service, I would uh, sit down with uh, at least two or three different recruiters from the different, you know, maybe Army, Navy, Air Force, and so forth, and, and decide what they have to offer you. And if there's something that you're interested in, uh, Go for it. It's uh, it's not a it, it's a good good place to retire from. There's a lot of people that uh, you know have double careers.
My name is Mark Schellinger. I uh, retired in the, from the Army as a Sergeant First Class E7 in 1998. I served in a number of different duty stations, primarily on the East Coast, down South and out West, and a couple of years over in South Korea. I joined uh, to serve our country and also to because uh, of the pride that I had my father being in the military. So walking in his footsteps, he also served in South Korea during the war. And I spent two years over there in the same same ground that he was at 30 years years prior to that. My dad was in the service. Uh, he retired. He was, was in the service uh, during the Korean War. He was a sergeant uh, when he came out. And my brother Al, uh, also from Slinger High School, he went in the service as well. He was in during the Gulf War. So it was the three of us, my dad, my brother, and I. My proudest moment in the military was uh, graduating from drill sergeant school. I spent uh, two years as a drill sergeant training uh, field artillerymen. My favorite food in the military, uh, I guess it would be the omelets that we had in the morning. Uh, they made omelets for us and uh, that was probably one of my favorites. I went to the service, I uh, stayed in uh, World War II barracks for basic training and it was open bay. And we had uh, 52, 54 soldiers uh, on the first and second floor in the barracks. Uh, in the field, we slept in field tents on the cots um, if we had them available. If not, we slept in our sleeping bags. And um, we also ate MREs. It was meals ready to eat uh, while we were in the field. MREs is a, is a meal ready to eat. And uh, it's a meal that uh, comes in a plastic uh, container and has all the, your, your food in there for your, your meats, your fruit, and your vegetables, crackers, snacks, all within a small contained bag. So meals ready to eat. And they also came with a heater. So you're able to heat up your meals uh, prior to eating them. So it wasn't too bad. So if you think about joining the military, it's it's opportunity to serve our country and defend our, our nation. And uh, take a lot of pride in uh, the people that you meet from uh, all the different cultures around the United States and uh, you know to serve the United States of America, serve our country, defend the Constitution.